Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. You are looking at the new official Leda version 4, and it has changed from SMG classification to a carbine. It's unfortunately it's a very light carbine, um, and I can't really call it a carbine because the magazine is only four studs wide, but uh, it is a carbine, and. Um, We've had to switch that over for a number of reasons, basically because now with all the furniture I've added on, it just it looks like a carbine, and uh, it feels more like a short barrel carbine as well. So we're gonna go ahead and switch the classification over to carbine for right now, and uh, this is version four of the Leda, now classified as carbine. So I have to put it in the name version four Leda carbine, and. Um, as you can see, the entire new furniture that I've added back here is the uh, three slope, like I talked about in the version three video that I did, and uh, it just it slopes off the back here with this piece, and it's kind of sloped on the front here with those pieces, and then underneath the shell ejection port, we have the slope pieces here. On the front right here, we just have a little uh, outcropping. It, it adds a very nice look to it. I like it. Um, it's just it breaks up the line of this slope. There isn't one on the other side though, so it doesn't really matter. Excuse me. And then, we're just switching around to the other side, we just have this long slope all the way up to here. And uh, guys, this uh, the furniture that I've added on here. Uh, now that I look at it, I actually I really don't like it. It just it doesn't do anything for me it's not what I thought it was gonna be like and um, I'm probably gonna take it off here in a second but um, I really wanted to do it like this with the slopes here but like this and uh, it's just I cannot do that over here you're gonna have to bear with me on that one and uh, this entire thing is literally held on by only that so it's actually pretty easy to take off and it just it slips on like so and uh, in case you guys haven't already noticed, I put a new optic on it. And uh, in case you guys haven't already guessed, if you can guess, it is a hybrid sight, which simply means there is an aim point behind a EOTech, and they are married together so that this provides additional magnification to this sight. So for longer ranges, you might want to flip down this aim point so that you can see out farther and... Um, basically engage hostile targets at that distance but um, if you don't of course you'll just flip over that site like so over to the other side and then you'll engage with close ranges with your EOTech and uh, we're gonna go ahead give me a second here I gotta switch hands with the camera for all your this is first person view first person viewing me down these sites without the um, the uh, hybrid sight flipped over first point of view aiming down the sights with the hybrid sight and then uh, I have it flipping over to the left side because it's more comfortable for my hand to flip over to the left side it's a more natural feeling and uh, also because the shell ejection port is on this side I don't want any hot brass coming up into the uh, sight and ruining it because it's like what two hundred three hundred dollars I think for a durable one that uh, I really like um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much it this is now the new Leda at Leda version 4 carbine and uh, it's a great little model and uh, I hope to be adding on to it soon maybe I'll switch out this furniture here if I find enough bricks but uh, that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys for watching remember to comment rate and subscribe for more videos like this one I'll see you guys later